I'm Jay Horton. I make movies that make money. This is how. Today, I'm going to tell you how to use social media to market your indie film. The first 90 days of any release is probably the most crucial time for any film's marketing to be successful. And that's where we're mostly going to concentrate today. The first question people usually ask when it comes to social media marketing is, well, how often should you post when promoting your movie? Well, keep this rule of thumb in mind. For every promotional post that you do, you should have at least two regular posts. Now, there are experts out there that have different ratios for different platforms, and if you want to dig deeper, go look those up. Go for it. But I think the three to one ratio is a good general rule of thumb. Now, that said, when I was running my crowdfunding campaign for Craving a few months back, I was posting five or six times a day just about the campaign for every one non-crowdfunding post I did, and I still raised over $60,000. But it's important to keep in mind that that was for a short, intensive period. I think that if I were to keep up that kind of posting over an extended period of time, it would kill my social media interaction. So if you're making three posts in a day, two should have nothing to do with what you're promoting. One should have something to do with your promoting or double that. And when you're talking about Facebook, another trick is to make use of your stories because they disappear after 24 hours and they don't clutter up your main wall. So you can do a little bit more there. Now, Twitter is a little more forgiving of multi-posting, you know, so two or three promotional posts a day doesn't seem bad there. You know, say like one morning time, one afternoon, one evening, maybe one late evening. I found that like a two to one ratio there is fine or, you know, even less. Um, but in general, I think the three to one is a pretty good rule of thumb, regardless of the platform you're on. So you're going to be posting in places like Facebook, Twitter, you know, LinkedIn up to four times a day. And don't forget about reels. This is something that I've just started gaining traction with personally, especially on Facebook, where they're giving some preferential treatment to reels as they're really trying to make them a thing, basically trying to emulate TikTok. If you're not good with social media or feel awkward about all of this, you need to start now get used to it. If your movie isn't out yet, practice by promoting someone else's. Another thing you should do prior to your release and throughout your first 90 days is build up your connections. On Twitter, follow five new people a day. Make five new friends on Facebook. Follow five new folks on IG. Request a couple of LinkedIn's. Follow more people on Pinterest. Do the same on TikTok. But the trick here is you don't just follow randos you know, but you're following people that are firmly in your target audience. I did a whole nother video on how to find your target audience, which you can check out after you watch this video here. I'll also throw a link in the comments. It's also a good idea to start friending people in groups. Like if you're on Facebook and you're making a horror movie, you know, befriend some other people in the groups, you know, respond to some of their comments, friend admins in the groups and make friends with them so that they're not always deleting your posts. And the reason that I say to limit how many people you follow to five every day or friend five, it's so you're not just adding empty follows, but you're engaging with real people. Because, you know, if you try to follow 10 or 20 a day at a certain point, you're you're just going to be looking for numbers. Numbers don't matter. It's the quality and the engagement that you get from real people. You don't just want followers. Also, you should really practice engaging with people on social media before you launch your show. One other thing about social media and engagement is it's a two-way street. If you look at it and attack it selfishly, like in a self promoting way, you'll get very little back. So before you go and just start promoting your film, promote some other people's film. Support others like you want them to support you. Follow the golden rule on social media. It will work for you. And engage and comment on other artists' posts. This is a really great habit to get into, even if you have absolutely nothing to promote. Let's talk for a quick second about what to post. Of course, you'll want to share a link to your IMDb or your Amazon or Tubi or wherever your movie is, but you don't want to just do that over and over. In fact, you'll find you'll get a lot more traction, a lot more reach and brand awareness by not posting the link at all 
on some posts or even the majority of your posts. Like if you go through like my Facebook wall, you'll, you'll find that I post mostly information about my movie or information about someone in my movie, or I ask a question of other people that has something to do with my movie. And then maybe I'll post a link. And one reason for doing this, it's the algorithms. I mean, Facebook, for example, is said to not give much reach for posts that have links in them. One way around this is to post the link in the comments. Although I've been told that that sometimes limits it as well. And I'm not 100% this is all true because I've got some really great interaction on link posts. So, but then again, I have others that have one or two. So I just mix it up. If I've posted the link two times in a row, my third post will have no link at all. You know, maybe just mention of where you can find it. You know, like, hey, the movie's on Tubi or hey, the movie's on Amazon. You don't always have to post the link. When I was doing my crowdfunding campaign, I had a consultant, someone that had raised a lot of money in crowdfunding, and he would tell me to never post my link more than, say, twice in a day on Facebook, in comments or in posts. And that is the tact I took, and I had a pretty successful campaign. Oh, here's another thing. You're going to need a ton of stuff to promote your movie. You know, you'll need way more material than just, say, you know, a couple of posters and a trailer. So create a bunch of extra material to share. This is what I do. I go into the movie and I create 10 to 20, 30 to 45 second teaser clips from the movie directly. I make somewhere between 10 and 20, 30 to 45 second teaser clips from the movie itself. I try to make these little self-contained clips, almost like, like reels or like TikToks. You know, now that reels are taking off and TikToks is huge, you're starting to see this type of material gain more and more traction. And on Facebook, they're really giving some preferential treatment to reels these days. And as far as these go, post just one at a time, like every other day or one a day and stagger your platforms with them. So like one day you'll do it on Facebook and Reddit. Uh, the next day you might do Twitter and Instagram. The next day you might do TikTok and Pinterest, whatever. Just mix it up just so that you're not posting the same clip on multiple social media platforms at the same time. Then I'll create 10 short behind the scenes clips kind of in the same manner just little short interview bites or stuff on the set, you know, 60 seconds maximum. I always keep them under that. Really 45 seconds is about as long as I make them. And I am very, very, very far from an expert on TikTok. As a matter of fact, I still haven't quite figured out how to post there, but I would highly recommend spending some time there and seeing the kind of things that are moving for other movie and filmmakers and try to emulate some of that. Next, I will create six to eight longer clips from the movie, like three to five minutes a piece, usually like, you know, full scenes or sequences, you know, not spoilery stuff, usually stuff from the first act, you know, maybe the beginning of the second. And I post these on YouTube only to start. So post one of these a week on YouTube for your first 90 days or until you run out of them and make sure you do your SEO homework descriptions and tags, and every time one of these publishes, share it across all your social media platforms and cherry pick Facebook groups and subreddits to share as well. One quick word on sharing in Facebook groups, have a written out schedule and don't post a self-promotional post in the same group more than once a week. You'll get labeled as a spammer. They'll either kick you out of the group or they'll just start removing your posts. And have at least one other regular post buffering that and your next self-promotional post. You can get away in most groups with a one-to-one -one ratio. Like you make one self-promotional post and then I usually follow that right up with a regular post just so I don't forget the next time I make a self-promotional post. And create a bunch of still images and art with overlays, get creative. Do some straight up stills from the movie and turn them into memes. Do the same with behind the scenes photos if you have them. And you absolutely should have some behind the scenes photos. You can never have too much promotional material. I aim to have at least one new image to share daily for the first 90 days. And honestly, I would say to have double or triple that. Another thing you can do on Facebook is you can create an online review party. 
you know, basically an event. You invite up to 500 friends and choose them wisely. Try not to overlap too heavily with your email contacts or family friends. You're trying to reach people here that you might not get to regularly otherwise, but do not send invites by messenger. And if you've never done events before, invite no more than 10 a day to the event to start. It'll keep you from being marked as a spammer. Now, over time, you can increase this. You know, like I started out doing 10 a day, then I did 15, then I did 20. Like do the 10 a day for like the first five days and then maybe the second five days you can go up to 15 and then up to 20, 25. I mean, at this point, I do groups of about 50 at a time, but I used to keep it under 20 for the entire first 30 days of my film's release. And again, back to the event, post one daily reminder in that event for the duration of the event and use that as an opportunity to give secondary calls to actions like, you know, rate the movie on IMDb or, uh, you know, go to the merch store or whatever. I know I'm talking a lot about Facebook here, and it's it's because honestly, it's what I have the most uh, experience with, and it's where I've got the most traction. Let's talk for a minute about Facebook groups, um, and this kind of applies to Reddit as well. But a word of warning on Reddit: really, really check out a subreddit before you start posting in them. Many groups will ban you pretty much instantly for blatant spam or self promotion see what other types of posts others are doing before you start jumping in. And honestly, that's a good rule of thumb for Facebook as well. Find relevant groups to your subject matter. If you're doing a horror movie, it's horror groups. Um, they have comedy groups. Um, if your movie is about, you know, a certain kind of store, they have groups for that. They have dog rescue groups. There's, there's groups for everything. And I did a whole other video on how to target groups and people, which I mentioned before, which you can check out. Link is in the description and comments. Once you get into a group, make sure that your first post is not self-promotional. You know, do a regular post that is relevant to the group, something on the topic of the group. And do, like I said, just do one, but make sure you do at least one. Like I would say two or three you know, over the course of a couple of days or weeks before you start doing any kind of self-promotion. Now, once you get into the group and, you know, you post, you know, once a week or twice a week as noted above, then you can switch that over to like the one-to-one -one ratio, one regular post, one self-promotional post. And pay attention to where and how you get engagement. Like if you've been doing this for like three weeks in a certain group and you're getting zero engagement, either completely change your posting style or just delete that group and don't go there anymore. Don't waste time posting in places that you get no engagement. And that reminds me, stay away from the like help promote groups like the, you know, promote horror movies or, you know, promote yourself. All those groups are, are a bunch of other people just like you all trying to get people to go to their movies or go to their thing and they're not going to each other's. It is a total waste of time. Those posts get no engagement. People do not click through. Just don't mess with it. It is not gonna help you. And speaking of engagement, when people do comment, respond to their comments. Always be polite and thankful. Do not negatively engage in criticism. If someone gets critical with you or something you post, just thank them for their feedback or ignore it. You know, if it's an awful troll, just remove your ego from the equation. The goal here is to get engagement, not to prove a point or be right. Oh, and here's a little bonus thing. Like say your movie's on Amazon, respond to the reviews that people leave on Amazon. Again, it is all about engagement. So I say respond to every review, negative or positive, but again, always be polite. If the review is super negative, just say something like, sorry you didn't like the movie, but I do appreciate you taking the time to watch and leave your feedback. Hopefully you'll like the next one better. I know, a little Ed Wood, but it does you no good to defend or deflect. Again, this isn't about you, it's about engagement. And the more that the Amazon algorithm sees people engaging with those reviews in the post, the more they're going to show that movie and the higher you're going to go up in the rankings. So engage in your reviews. But whatever you do, keep making movies.